What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Super Bus. In this episode I am going to be taking the entire bus and demolishing and removing absolutely everything out of the inside. That way I have a clean slate and I can start deconstruction of the actual physical bus itself and then turning it into a toy hauler. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me because that'll help out the channel a lot and you'll be up to date on all these videos I'm making on the Super Bus. My idea with it is I'm going to start cutting off all the foam, all the leather and everything off of it while they're still bolted into the bus. I'll be able to rip everything out and then get down with metal and start cutting pieces of metal off so I can get them all into the truck all at once and take them to a scrapyard. Theoretically also that scrapyard will pay me enough for the metal to pay for the dump run to take these seats. Try to pull all this stuff off. So in theory, I should be able to cut along here and cut all the threads or uh, start it and then just rip it. This is gonna be a lot easier than I was expecting. Rear half of the seats are now out, less the emergency seat. Carter, uh, he's picking up this seat for his own personal use, so I'm not cutting this guy apart. This guy is gonna stay exactly the same. I am uh, organizing everything so I can take things to different areas, donate the foam, throw that all away into a scrapyard, and recycle everything. I'm going to move to the forward, and I'm gonna start taking out the rest of the seats. Okay, now that we got all the seats completely out, all I got left are the seat feet. Downside to it is it takes two people. So I got my buddy James here. He is helping me out. He's crawling underneath doing the hard part and I'm on top doing the easy part. Thanks, James. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Everything is now out, all the seats, less the little uh, bus heaters here, which that'll be another day. So now it is start taking off all the ceiling stuff and hopefully be able to get most of the stuff out to the recycling tomorrow. I do have some more room in the truck, so I'm gonna try and get as much of this in there as I can. Now these wires are absolutely Im crazy important because they go for the lights, they go for the doors. You start cutting those, don't figure it out. The bus will never start again. So we're gonna pop these out, let them dangle, and then we're gonna start taking on the roof. Now the roof does start overlaying from the rear going forward. So we're gonna start back here and work away that way, pulling all these out all the way down. <laughs> okay. 
Apparently the roof panels are glued in place. <sighs> Come on. So far in this build um, or teardown, haven't found anything worth noting until now. It's an eyeball with the suction cup. three suction cups on it. <laughs> what is this? Is it like sits like this? <gasps> is it from uh, Small Soldiers? There's a movie in the 90s called Small Soldiers, and it was these uh, guys that put these chips, military chips, into toys. Uh, the toys come to life and they're attacking. And Sounds like a movie I'd yeah. be interested in. If this is the guy, Oculus, from that movie, I still don't remember the name of it. Um, Should it be yeah. a dash ornament? That's dirty. <laughs> that is so dirty. Send it I, through the washing. It's probably covered in asbestos. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but that is awesome. Maybe I'll bleach it and it will be the a dash ornament. We'll see. All right, got the truck loaded up with all the metal from the seats and a lot of that uh, ceiling from the seats. So I'm gonna guess uh, the weight, I'm gonna probably say 1,800 pounds-ish. Got a little bit of squat going on in the back of the truck, so I'm gonna guess 1,800 pounds. Let's go find out. Okay, so as you can see, everything is now out. All the ceilings are off, the front pedal is off, but now it's just insulation hanging out on top. And I think it's fiberglass. It's starting to itch a little bit, but I'm gonna take a scraper and start scraping all of it down and off the ceiling. All right, so that insulation sucked to get out. The actual doing it wasn't too bad, like the work wasn't bad, but I am itchy so bad right now. Now it is time to start taking off the walls. I. Man, just like the, uh, the ceiling, it starts at the back and overlays all the way through the front. One down. Eight more to go. Now that I got both side walls off, it is time to start taking off the floor, which means everything going along with the floor, like the wheel wells. I have to take off all the uh, metal sheathing for these uh, heaters here, which the heaters I'll have to unbolt, but I don't think I'm gonna be fully removing them yet. So now it is just getting the rest of this off and then cleaning the entire floor off. I have so many screws on the floor in here. There are thousands and thousands of screws that were taken off of these panels, the ceiling, the floors, the seats, everything. All right, we are now down to the last stage of the gutting of the bus and it is the floor. So the big thing about the floor is I do not know what the condition of the wood is underneath other than I could feel a few uh, soft spots here and there. So I do not want to keep this plyboard floor that came from the bus. I'm going to start at the back of the bus, pry it up a little bit. I'm going to take a small floor jack, shove it under there, and I'm going to use the jack to kind of pry it up. Instead of having to use your back, legs, and all that over and over again, using it that way is supposed to be a lot easier. Everything is out minus the heaters. All of these heaters we have here, all the hoses, everything. So Justin is here to help me out getting rid of these. Now they are full of coolant because you know they are meant to cool with heat. Heat with coolant. We need to get these out of the bus without making a crazy mess. I'm gonna take these heaters, take them out the front door, down the side of the bus. So gravity wise, they don't pour out, they, once we cut them, everything stays inside of the heaters themselves. So then we can collect the coolant afterwards and put it into a uh, coolant recycling area like your local auto parts store and take care of it that way. So now that everything is outside, we're gonna have to work with a supply hose and a return hose. 
One of these is a return hose, one of them is a supply hose. Like I said, it is gonna make a little bit of a mess, gotta work really, really fast. Okay, so I'm gonna also clamp vice grips on here. I'm gonna cut on one side of it. So in theory, I cut this first, all the coolant that drains out is gonna be down there, and then everything that I wanna keep is gonna be on this side. Here. Definitely a good thing we used a new blade. Dang, that's gonna kink. As you can see, they are gone. Now, they didn't quite go as planned. Um, we had a last minute panic of it was kinking up and we had to reuse a couple of the elbows. So we collected the coolant real fast as best we could and then looped it up using two of the elbows that came on the original heaters. So now it is all one system, kind of looping back in on itself. So in theory, that works minus uh, there's going to be some air in the system that will have to cycle through, which we'll have to worry about that later. So with everything out of the bus, I want to know your guesses on how much everything weighs. I weighed everything that came out, and I have a rough idea about how much it is. But that is not for this video. I'm going to make a specific video of the weight of everything from bone stock, everything's out, the flatbed, and how much the Jeep weighs actually sitting on the back, if I can manage to get it on the back. Let me know in the comments below what you think everything weighs, how much weight has actually come off of this bus. And that is going to do it for this video tonight. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. The next video is going to be the actual deconstruction of the rear of the bus. That is the part I am most excited for, but also the most terrified for, because that is the point of no return. So, uh, yeah. Hit that subscribe for me. See you guys next week.